Hi, my name is Alex Tamaru, and this is my buddy Jojo, and Hi. today we are talking about mid nineties. Mid nineties. Mid nineties. It came out a few weeks, uh, a few weeks ago in October, in the middle of October, and I'm pretty excited about it. I like. We we're going to talk about it like, last week. We decided to wait and talk about it this week. I'm excited. Let's talk about this film. Let's get into it on this video. Visual, video, video, visual, visual podcast. podcast. Start off, great film. It really coloring characters. Character development. The plot was kind of iffy, but otherwise, it was a great film. Yeah, I think all across yeah. the board, we both genuinely really liked it enough yeah. to see it twice. Yeah, <laughs> enough uh, to see it twice. Yes, once with a twenty four, which was very, very fun. A very like surreal, different experience. Yes, from most of the screenings I've been to. Yeah. Um, and then there was still an embargo on it, so we couldn't talk then, and we really wanted to. Yeah. We were so eager to talk about it on podcast because oh, yes. you know it's genuinely a really good movie. It is. I think it's one of Best movie I've, movies I've seen in a while. Yes. A lot of people say, like, oh, it's the best of 2018. No. Nah, bitch. This is the best movie I've seen in a very long time. Yeah. Um, and then that. we saw it again in a normal theater, and it's like very it's like seeing a painting in the Louvre and then seeing it in a coffee shop. Exactly. It's a very, it's a very different experience, and it really plays into it. Exactly. So who's your favorite character? Oh, God. I just get right into it. Oh, there were so many good characters. Ray is my favorite by far. Which one was Ray? He was the black guy. Black guy? Okay. I liked uh, Baby Man. Oh, Fourth Grade. Fourth Grade. Fourth Grade, that's yes. it. Baby Boy. Baby, baby, baby Boy. Baby. Strong okay. Baby Productions. Strong Baby Productions. Strong, the, yes. the only company that was my inspiration for my production company. Yes, yes. I, I liked it a lot. I think his Ray's character was very good, very influential than Stevie, the main character. Um, yeah, I liked I, trivia again. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. So usually, since we're doing a video visual podcast, yes. it's a little different from a normal podcast. Usually, Alex has questions, and we address the questions. But this time, we thought it would be cool if. Uh, oh my god! There's already a fucking IMDb page for Toy Story Four. Yeah, there. It, the Why? Trailer, the trailer came out already. I saw the trailer. No, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I saw the trailer, shit, but there's I'm, nothing. I'm like, it's not even a movie yet. All right, Blanking, okay. okay. Usually we do questions. Yes. We're gonna do trivia instead this time yes. because there's some very interesting trivia. There is. So, so let's, let's get into it. This movie was. Jonah Hill said that the movie that he made in the mid '90s was inspired by Kids, This Is England, Ratcatcher, and The Sandlot. And the only movie I disagree. I mean, yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna disagree with Jonah Hill because it's his film. You can disagree with him. I just don't think that Sandlot was very inspirational for this film. I get like the friendship in that movie. No, I can see where he's coming from with that though. I, I think the only two that matter and better are kids and This Is England because This Is England is a very hardcore skate movie and it has a lot of that rough energy that mid nineties has. Yeah. But kids is the perfect way to sum this movie up, I'd say. It's kids with skateboarding. Yeah. And I hate to be that guy, it's like it's this with this, but that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great. I think Jonah Hill <clears throat> really went with what he knew and he made an amazing story and when you watch these movies you get that same feeling which I think is amazing yeah, and I'm, that's why I love this one so much it's, 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 so, good. it's, it's so, so good it's so fucking good and compared it's to so like good. we have screenings of Columbia all the time yeah, so we, we see do. a shit ton of movies yes and the only movie I think I've seen that rivals this is At Eternity's Gate really? really okay because At Eternity's Gate which is another movie that just came out is very Which we can't talk about because it comes out in two days. Well, we can still talk about we it. We can? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, guys. there's an embargo on it. We just can't talk about the actual movie. Yeah. Both of the movies are hard to watch. Yes. Both Mid-90s oh, and Eternity's yes, Gate. they are. But both of them have a lot of really good artistic integrity, which makes me think that Art House is coming back. Yeah, and I, that's what makes me happy. Which I'm very about excited it. about because uh -huh. I love Art House. More than anything, yeah. it's my favorite genre of film. Yeah. Other than fucking skateboarding, dude. You guys want to see a cool skate trick? Bring in the skateboard. Bring in the skateboard. Out. Oh god. Oh, I feel scared. Is that cool? Yeah. In editing, cool. that's gonna look fucking yeah. tight. But yeah, I think we both enjoyed this film, which makes it even better. I mean, it, Jordan Hill did a great job. <laughs> this guy can't recover. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun. All right. Um, what were you saying? No, sorry. Jordan Hill. God bless that guy. He's acting is his main thing, but I think overall, what he does with this movie is great. Yeah, definitely. I think it changes perspective on what A24 does and how they make movies now. I think it just changes my perspective 
Uh, well, I, I mean, I already had this perspective, but I hope it changes people's perspectives on what it means to make movies. Because before yeah. it meant, you know, being a being a director with a huge fucking crew and a giant yeah. budget and all this stuff. When film at its core is just making stuff, you yeah, know, when film exactly. originated, it was just a few people. And, you know, now with this, I mean, we talk about we talked about it before, but but credits are long enough to put on a t-shirt. And exactly. V24 yeah. is Man, selling yeah. that. Well, it's sold out, but... It's sold they're, out. They're, they're, fucking... Who cares? Who cares? It's not like I care. Um, but, you know, it adds, I feel like that's a huge part of it, you yeah. know? The fact that this is bringing film back to its roots, and it's so powerful, yeah. and I hope people realize that... I'm so excited. That, yeah. I hope people realize that this is what film is going to be, yeah. you know? Exactly. Could we just talk about how Jonah Hill left the production meeting from mid-90s to attend Kanye West's album release party in Wyoming? Like, could we just talk about that for a minute? Like how I don't. I've re- I I watched an interview on Jonah Hill and he loves Kanye. He loves Kanye and I think that's the only part of Jonah Hill that I hate because, on record I hate Kanye. And now on video I'm saying it. I hate Kanye. Hate Ka- I hate Kanye West. I. I try to get the brightness up so you can see my face. I hate Kanye West. He's not a good person. He's a fucking scumbag. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, he's a huge fan. I think yeah. that's. As precise as all the music he got in this is, what's interesting is that Gyeong, Gyeong Ha, Gyeong, Gyeong, no, right there, second trailer song. Gyeong, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Yeah. It's Gyeong something. That was sampled in a Kanye song. I think that's the only reason why he used it. But it, it's, it's a very good sample. And I'll give that to Kanye, but, you know. Anything else? No. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeezys? Anything else? Well, maybe that maybe that time he worked with um, fucking I forget his name. The guy who did the album art for uh, Universe City. I don't know. And Kids He Ghosts. I don't know. He's a really cool artist. Okay. 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 Um, let's get Fuck back Kanye to West. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Kevin Durant. <laughs> let's get back into the movie. Um, yeah. So I mean, honestly. Great, great movie. Great movie. Great yeah. times. I think that's all we need to really say about it. I know it's a short podcast, but it is a short podcast because it's visual, and I want people to go watch your podcast. Yeah. But I think it's a very. It's going to be a big movie, maybe five years from now. Yeah. But right now, Definitely it's going to be very contained, small. contained and underlooked, and I think that's the shame in it. But I think A twenty four is a company that is genuinely making good productions. Good. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen every single one of A24's movies, but every movie I've seen by them has been consistently, yeah, not mind blowing, but very eye opening. Yes, in the sense that this is what film is supposed to be. Yeah. I think that's so cool. You know. So we're not gonna do ratings because I know you don't do ratings. I mean, we can do ratings. I give it. Uh, I 9. just do. 7. I just do comedy. You're gonna wait. Say that again. Nine point seven. Nine point seven. I'm gonna give it. Uh, Four skateboard wheels out of four. Awesome. Yep. So thank you guys for listening and watching. And watching. Alex loves movies. This is going to be a new thing on our thing. We're going to be talking about. We're going to probably hopefully do this more often now that we have a camera that we can do it with. But yeah, check it us out uh, but on SoundCloud. It's Alex Loves Movies. Check JoJo out on YouTube. I'll put it in. YouTube.com. I finally... Fun note, I finally got approved for a custom URL, so now I'm right. youtube.com slash Ronaldo Base God. Yeah, so check him out. It's very interest. It's very, very exciting. He's a very, very good filmmaker. Oh, and I, 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 it makes I, my heart it makes my heart go dokey dokey. I, I very much appreciate working with him. Um check out my more, more of my videos if you want to. Um but yeah. Thank Ch- you. Check out more of Alex's stuff. He he milks he milks me a lot, but check out his stuff. It's genuinely really good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a new movie coming out soon, but besides that, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and this has been Alex's Movies, and this is how we're going to go out. Oh, no, wait, hold on, do another skate trick, hold on. No, another skate trick. Here comes another skate trick, you guys.